Hey Cookin' Friends, welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Sheila. And if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And ring the bell. And thanks for all our regular subs coming back every time we put out a recipe. We so appreciate you. And it's been a busy week. It has. And I don't know about you all, but at our house, we have some ham left over after Thanksgiving. Absolutely. And you know, you got that spiral ham and you got that bone in there and you want to make something really good right. with it. So today we're going to make great northern beans and ham in our oh, Dutch oven and it's, it's going to be so, so good. good. You guys are going to mm. love it. So we're going to take you back and show you how it's done. So I've got some great northern beans here and this is a 32 ounce bag so I'm only going to use half of this bag. So I'm going to put it out here, spread them all out. So you can find all the rocks and um, any other sharp pieces in there. Half pieces and anything you don't want to cook, you want to right take out, take them out of there. So once we get all of those out, there's quite a few of them in here. Get them out of there. Okay. Now put them in a colander and rinse them. And then we're just gonna set them aside. And then this is a spiral ham that I have, so I'm gonna cut all this ham off there and use it for other things, but also I'm going to save some for this this bean recipe. And you clean off the bone. And just place it in your pot and then add four cups of chicken broth. Pour that in there. I love chicken broth. Chicken broth is great. Mm. And four cups of water. Four cups of water because we're going to add some other flavoring in here. That's mm. a big bone I got right there. Yes it is. And a teaspoon of garlic powder. And add in one teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of granulated chicken powder. And that's going to flavor up that water we just put in there. And one medium diced sweet onion. Gotta have our sweet onion. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. We love our sweet onions. And don't worry about that, that bone is sticking out. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's gonna cook. And one cup of carrots diced. Mm -hmm. And two stalks of celery diced up. Just keep dumping it in. <laughs> All that good stuff. Uh -huh. All these flavors. There's so much you can do with leftovers. Now take our rinsed beans and add them to the pot. Pour them all around and stir them. Then you add a couple of bay leaves. So we've got this pot on medium heat and then when it starts coming to a boil, we're gonna cover it and bring it down to medium low and let it simmer. And check it. And stir it. Give it a stir. And you'll want to keep checking it. Make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. Make sure those beans are stirred up. You know, every every 20 minutes or so, just, just check on it. Give it a stir and cover it back up. Let it cook a little longer. It's going to take a couple hours, so. Keeping it down on medium low. Oh, that smells good. Mm-hmm. Now take the lid off again. Smells great now for sure. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And you can see that whole bone and ham and all that's completely cooked. And some of that ham's going to fall off in there, and that's fine. We don't mind. <laughs> yes, we don't mind at all because it's so tender. So now we're going to remove the bone from the beans. Yeah. And then give it a stir. Still got that bay leaves in there. Yes. And don't uh, bite down on one of those. Yeah, don't eat, don't eat the bay leaves. Just, they're just for flavor. Yes. And then add some leftover ham. And we just diced them up small and gonna put those in there. Some more added flavor. Like I said, there's gonna be plenty of salt. You don't need to add any salt to this at all. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. plenty of salt in this. And you stir it up and we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes uncovered just to heat up that ham because that ham is already cooked, you know? Right. Look at that. Just let it oh, simmer up there. Look at that. Mm. It's making me hungry. It smells good. Let's let's scoop some of this yeah. up. Well, don't forget to remove the bay leaves now. 
Oh yeah, don't don't eat them. Mm -mm. Yeah, just keep scooping. Come on, mm -hmm. some more. Got some cornbread made up. Yes. To go with it. Oh, uh, I'll take that top piece. Oh yeah, I might eat that other one. I wonder if we're gonna make the the, the end of the recipe here. I don't think, I don't think so. <laughs> Let me have to try this first. Look at that. Look, I even put a little garnish of like a little oh, bay leaves. Don't eat that, but just just put it on there as garnish. Mm. Yummy. Let's give it a try. What do you think, Sheila? I can't wait. I'm hungry. Give me my spoon, fork, <laughs> whatever you want to give me. Bowl of comfort coming <laughs> up, babe. Doesn't that smell delicious? Yes. Yum. You know what would be good with this? What? Some cornbread. Well, it would be, but we already ate it. <laughs> No, we, we should have. We couldn't wait, so we yeah. should have saved some. I know. But let's try this. Okay. Doesn't this look good? Yes. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It is good. Mmm. So much flavor in that. Yeah, we should have saved our cornbread. I know, but it's good without it. Honestly, it's it good is. with it. You could put anything with this, but mm. you you know, some people put this over rice. I mean, there's all different ways you can make this. Um, beans, and rice, rice and beans. You mm. know, so. You are going to love this recipe. You this really would be good it. over Cool Whip. Over Cool Whip? <laughs> you got yeah. you got holidays on the brain. <laughs> I know. She's still, she's still in sweet mode. I know. Well, as Steve would say. Sweet girl. <laughs> is this the best great northern beans and ham you've ever had? If, if it, it ain't, ain't it, it ought, ought to be. be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mom, you got to try this one. It's good. Really mm. yummy. Mm. Bye. Mm. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, and then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.